last thing I'm going to do before I finish up for the day is um, I've seen videos on YouTube where people are restoring the black, their trim, using a hot air gun. I want to see what it looks like. I've got this from an 07 Citroen Relay. I picked it up from the Scrappy. This is my test bed for all of my, my exterior trim. I'm thinking about painting these sections, leaving the wheel arches black. It's an idea. It's an idea. This does have a, a slight texture to it, which I might be able to under, undercoat, sand it smooth, uh, and then paint it to match. I'm going to give this a go. I've masked it so I can see it before and after. The tip is to move in small circles very gently. And what you're doing is you're ever so slightly softening the very top surface. The oxidization, the UV damage that fades away, returning it to, to black. I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can get a good look at what I'm doing. I'm very quickly running out of daylight. So I get what I can do here. I'm starting on level one and we'll see how that works. I can't say I'm seeing any real difference in the colour and I can't smell any kind of plastic. That's just, I can, I can touch that, that's not, I don't think that's hot enough. I think I'm going to go up to the next level. This is some next level shit right here. Yeah, I can kind of smell it now. It's definitely shinier. This was clean. I cleaned this area before I started. Right. One thing I wanted to try it was to see if I could do something with this. I don't think I can weld that back down again. Let's give it a go. Mm, oh yeah. It becomes very soft. I've not made it any better. Yeah. Okay, not good for scratches. Certainly not while it's still soft. Ah, that looks terrible. Might be good just for leveling it, leveling out scratches in the, 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 like this. Because I could now fill that and paint it. You can see the texture changing definitely though. You can kind of see in the video that slight texture change there. So it's made it more shiny. I don't know that it's actually changed the colour of it. Won't know really until I'm not going to touch it until this is cooled down. I'll take this tape off. We'll have a little look. It's still warm. Hmm, right, can you see? Can you see the join? Yeah, I run out of daylight. Can't I can't see any change at all <laughs> with that. I don't think the black trim is actually black anyway. I don't think it ever was black. I think it was dark grey. I've got some uh, 
back to black spray equivalent something like that you spray it on uh, wipe it off it's got a plastic enriching chemical the chemicals it's all chemicals um, I'll give that a go and see what difference that makes the only thing with using those products is you have to keep doing it every month or two as for the treated plastic there's the slightest colour change there the heat treated it's permanently changed the texture it melts the hell out of anything that's delicate it's very risky I've tried two uh, plastic colour restoring products on there uh, bear in mind this is a 10 year old piece of plastic this product here is that Kayla Restore uh, this is an industrial product I don't actually have any more to use than or access to anything more than, than I have in this half bottle here it's expensive to buy if I could buy it which I can't this one here cost a quid it's a, it's a spray you don't spray it directly onto the plastic you spray it onto a cloth and then you rub it on leave it to dry and that's this surface here mm, very very similar the cheap stuff didn't cure that scratch there this product here the Kayla restore did a better job at disguising those scratches it might be that I can scrub these um, so I'll try that at some point and see what happens